I've just poured myself a second cup of coffee for the day today. It's super frothy. I'm really excited. I just ran a load of laundry, so here it is, all hanging. And I'm going to head outside because I have some things I want to share with you from Dollar Tree out there. And I just thought instead of bringing them up to my craft room, I've just left them on the main floor. Some things are for the kitchen, some things are for outdoors. I will just head out there. I just don't know how long uh, the weather's going to hold up. It's, it's getting a little bit cloudy and windy here. So we'll see how long I last out there. I want to say thank you so very much to BetterHelp. That's a better H-E-L-P for sponsoring today's video in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month. I am so thankful that they reached out to me and asked to sponsor today's video. I just think that it is so important to bring mental health awareness up. It's just the last two years have been really hard, I think, on a lot of us. May is also a month to raise awareness about mental health, fight stigma, there's cars going by, and provide support for anyone struggling with their mental health so it doesn't matter if it's just a little bit or if you need someone to listen to or just even provide you with some tools i know here at home i have a 14 year old boy going on 15 and there's just some parenting tools that i need to wrap up under my belt and try to figure out and navigate this new lifestyle with video gaming and all of those things this year's theme is together for mental health so just with my son alone, I know the last two years have been very trying on him. The routines have, well, the broken routines have really caused a lot of, I guess, I don't know. He has, he just hasn't adapted um, maybe as well as my daughter did with the transition back to school. School has been a bit of a struggle this year. He's a grade nine. So I think speaking to a therapist, getting some tools uh, just might be the best thing for our family. Well, it definitely is the best thing for our family. Mental Health Month is advocating for access to mental health care. This has been one of Better Help's goals, one of their main goals. So anyways, we'll head outside together and hoping that the rain holds off and we'll, I'll sh share some of my great finds with you guys out there. I have to practice vlogging more often. Maybe opening doors with like one hand. There's a door here, but do you hear the wind? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be out here very long. Close this door. Also wanted to let you know that BetterHelp, they offer a customized online therapy session. So if you prefer a live video, phone, and even live chat, so something like this, I know that we're not doing live chat, but you could see the person, or if you're not comfortable at all, you don't ever have to see anyone to chat with them. So that's the other awesome thing. I'm just gonna go and sit down. BetterHelp is also more affordable than offline or traditional therapy. You can apply for financial aid during the sign-up process and they accept HSA benefits. There's a broad range of expertise, 20,000 plus therapists in the BetterHelp network, and that's a way broader or greater variety than available in our areas. I can't imagine having that much access in our areas, so I think that's wonderful. Also, to sign up, they have a questionnaire online. It's really quick, takes less than five minutes to sign yourself up, go through the questionnaire, fill out the answers as best you can, give out a little blurb on what you need a little more help with or direction in, and it's really easy to sign up, and then they will partner you with a therapist within 48 hours. The nice thing also is they do not charge you if you decide to change therapists at any time, so that's also another wonderful perk. And then once you're signed up, you can schedule your secured online sessions, video or phone chat, the options that you have, which is awesome. If you don't even want to leave, you don't need to leave your home for a therapy session, which I think is amazing. Also, I want to let you know that the month of May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So if you know, or maybe you're not struggling, but you know someone who is, or maybe, they, you have, maybe somebody has expressed concern or anything like that, and you want to direct them, you can really suggest you know, therapy to them. I will leave a URL a in the description down below that will give you 10% off Better Helps therapy sessions. So that's a great savings. And if you need maybe just to try it out and you want to save yourself a little bit of money, definitely check them out. Down below, you will find the URL and let's get into the Dollar Tree haul. I have a few things here that I wanted to share with you that random finds i was looking for rubbing alcohol which i had talked to you guys about a few times 70 percent was the specific amount that i needed because we have these most adorable and they're so freaking cute my husband bought it for me for my birthday in the winter time and then of course i had to wait till 
the weather warmed up. Although this weather is crazy. We were, I don't know if you saw my Instagram posts and I, on TikTok, I kind of put like little things here and there of what's happening in my life. I know that I've kind of been MIA, but it's honestly, it's been a bit of a struggle with Everett and back to routines with school and stuff. So that has been taking over some of my free time. <laughs> Anyways, just wanted to let you know, my husband had purchased these most adorable little made of cement or concrete, however you want, and they're poured. And then there's an opening in here. So what you do is just, just pour this 70% rubbing alcohol and it has to be that. It evaporates rather quickly if you just, of course, leave it exposed. So pour what you need. And I have to show you because it is, unless I'm gonna set my hair on fire, but it is so pretty and at night like it swirls i don't know if the wind's gonna like kill this for me today but i have to share with you because there maybe the wind died down a little bit anyways you cannot see it because it's daytime but, but a little bit there from anyways it it's swirling there's a little bit of blue you can kind of see it there anyways it's very beautiful so it's so pretty at nighttime it's not coming through right now and that is just how it's going to be so I bought that, of course, before I light all of my Dollar Tree things here on fire. I'm going to move that out of the way. I bought rubbing alcohol, so hard to find. But knowing I could get this bottle at Dollar Tree, uh, he ordered to test my little guy out on Amazon. He ordered a bottle of rubbing alcohol, 70%. It cost him $15.99. I'm like, how much did you pay for that little bottle? He's like, oh, I think it was 16 bucks. I'm like, oh my goodness, Dollar Tree carries that. And I have found it at pharmacies, $5.99, a sort, like so many stores, but the best price definitely is Dollar Tree. So this is my little secret. If you are lighting any fire, like little swirly fires like me, um, you don't wanna just like burn, burn it away because it does evaporate rather quickly. The fire is out, yeah, the wind blew it out. I don't know if it's a Dollar Tree, no, collection, grocery collection, I'm not sure tartar sauce i love like fish and chips and sometimes i just want extra tartar sauce or it tastes good with fries like i don't know what else do you put tartar sauce on so this one here is 360 ml and these are still at the dollar 25 i know that some of you guys have been chatting on the facebook group about prices on food having gone up let me know what you're paying at your stores i paid a dollar 25 so that was a dollar 25 this was a dollar 25 and this is only 375 mil but we don't go through a heck of a lot of mustard so this lasts me the entire summer which is now like barbecue season for us here and um 375 mil for ultra moisturizing hand wash this one is lemon it's going to go in my kitchen is made by deep fresh and it's made in turkey made in turkey so i thought that was really and it smells like it just smells lovely and deep fresh do you have deep fresh do you guys have different varieties because i know i got a berry one one and i think there was a pomegranate one or something like that that i had seen on the shelf this is also going in the pantry these are the little capers i think that that's reasonable 110 mil i like adding this if i like um sometimes like a piece of rye toast a little bit of cream cheese some keepers and a piece of uh what is it called uh smoked salmon and that's like an afternoon lunch for me locket weather control hairspray 48 hour hold this is made by l'oreal it's just gonna go into my bathroom extra strong hold at 234 grams or 8.25 ounce you've seen i've done some different textures and color changes to some vases that i've purchased from dollar tree in the past and they always work out beautifully so i have an idea for this you can also use it as a base and then get a nice big long bowl and uh, attach it here to here with a little bit of hot glue and some e6000 and then maybe putting together succulents in there or flowers or some sort of arrangement that suits your home decor i do have I was thinking maybe I might even grab another one, try to make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna head upstairs and share with you some of the other goodies that I have that are more towards my craft room and going into my inventory closet of gifts and stuff. All right, so I came in because it was so windy outside. I actually broke my tripod. <laughs> the tripod blew over. I'm lucky I didn't break my camera. Um, so thankfully I still have this. So to make, I don't know if anyone does memory decks, but I purchased, and it's not very big at all, but I was hoping to, I'm not sure if this is the right one or if I should have got the one with the solid sides, but anyways, it has little holes and I'm hoping to put two wooden dowels down the middle 
and that way all of my memory decks cards can stand up nice and straight so i don't know if anyone does that type of crafting i want to actually uh pretty this up a little bit and then i want to be able to sit it on my uh, craft table just like an index card uh holder but i haven't found any pretty ones i actually went to a couple store been thrift shops thrift stores more than vintage and um or antiques i guess but they were just thrift stores and I was looking to see if they had any index card holders, but like I found one, but it was plastic and actually was more expensive than the one that I had seen at a different dollar store, which blew my mind because I don't know what is going on with some of these thrift stores, but they're so much more expensive than the original price. By the way, I spotted some stuff from Dollar Tree for $6.99. Do you know the little camera, the, the ceramic camera that's in the home hardware section? $6.99 label. I was like, who comes up with these prices? Anyways, I purchased the little silicone pot holder. I've bought one of these before for my craft room for the hot glue gun. I just like sitting it so it doesn't ruin my wooden table. They work really, really well. And the hot glue pops off really easily. But my husband actually is always has a glass of water on his side. And I'm I have like this ugly green silicone little thing. And he's like do you not have something nicer so he was actually on amazon searching and he found like these black mats which were like bar mats they were really really big i'm like oh my gosh don't do that like let's just get you a little gray or black one from dollar tree so this is what that's for it's actually going on the night table just for his glass so that the water doesn't leave a mark although you can use ah, a coaster however the coaster is like smaller and so sometimes when you're just your drink down do you know what i mean like your water in the nighttime have you seen some of the most beautiful crafter square uh fabric squares so they are 18 inches by 21 inches or like 46 centimeters by 54 centimeters let me show you these can be turned into really cute little bags you can turn them into i'm using some paper crafts because i just like to mix texture of paper and uh, linens and like blocks. oh my goodness what is going on here cutting it up and using it in my junk journal or in my paper crafts like pocket letters and stuff room is a disaster and probably why I've been avoiding going into it to be honest like my floor is covered in stuff does anyone else have a super organized craft room my craft room used to be like heaven it used to be so organized I just think I've over purchase too many things and don't even know where to put it and i do not like putting things away until they actually have their category and perfect space for it so until i figure out where the certain item is going it stays like usually in a bag on the floor or in a box and my bag i just decided to dump all my bags on the floor oh my gosh i like i don't even want to walk into my craft room it's embarrassing all right so this is like a peacock print it's actually really beautiful and delicate and it's got like these rose prints. I don't know, it's so pretty. What would you do with it? You can make a cute little bag. Um, if you like to store garlic in your pantry, I like to have my garlic in my pantry. I like to have bay leaves. Sometimes just having a cute little bag with a little pull string um, is perfect for something like that. In the craft stash because it's just too stinking cute. Oh look, see the stickers? But anyways, look at this. How? pretty with the little boo the little cats they're just so fun and i just want to make like a cute spring spring layout look at this one little kitty with the little flowers and this one with the little butterfly i love it i just i love this print and it says boots and buckets fun and purr and meow meow cute little cat print so stinking cute again you can make a little gift bag for it or the same size so you can sew back to back you can make like a mini pillow out of these a little travel pillow there's so many things you can do with them if you have some ideas let me know down below i always like hearing from you guys too you guys think outside the box and then give me an idea okay this one i'm not going to open because it's pretty standard it's just the blue and this one just gives me such paper vibes and a fun junk journal page so beautiful print so there's that at our store so this has got like a whitewash i'm not sure if it's coming across here but see this is like it says beach of course and it's whitewashed and then the, that's the back which is just the natural and i love this and then i found this sweet little pail or bucket 
It says Lake Life. I know exactly who it's going to. We have friends that have a cottage and I want to put together, I always bring like a bottle of wine or something like that if we visit them. So definitely going to be putting a little gift um, in here together and then cellophaning it. Uh, maybe even like a margarita mix or something like that. It's very nautical. These come with three in case I put like something like more loose or I don't know, but these are really nice for soaps as well. So beautiful. Bought these for my husband. So these are safety glasses and there's some that are like a goggle where it like, you know, seals in around the eyes. And then these ones are just a, a glass style. Every time we are outside together doing gardening, he gets stuff in his eyes every time. And I always tell him, I'm gonna get you the I'm gonna get you goggles so that you don't get a branch in your eyeball. It never fails. So I have to take I think because I usually wear my sunglasses when I'm out gardening, that maybe it it really does protect my eyes, but he never fails to get something in his eyeballs. And I don't know. All right. I found a bunch of these little um journals. They're guided journals. This one is a five-minute gratitude journal very pretty it's got like the sun I didn't even notice the sun my daughter's the one that noticed she's like mom why buy more journals I said I actually didn't buy them this for me I bought it more for like her or her friends uh, it has the benefits of gratitude it has some quotes appreciation is a wonderful thing it makes what is excellent and others belong to us as well and then um, it talks a little bit about your reverse bucket list and it has pages with lines and it has nice lines actually. There are tons of quotes and then um, there's, you can write the date and it has guided questions. So it'll be like an unforgettable memory I treasure, one of the best parts about being me, something I currently have that I have always wanted, etc., etc. And then there's like another, this page here, which I love that doesn't have lines because I'm a totally blank kind of page girl. I am grateful for blank. Today I will conquer and overcome blank. Today's priorities, one, two, three. What were three big wins today? One, two, three. Biggest challenges and lessons learned. And then there's a little space for it. And then there's like affirmation. I am biggest challenges and lessons again. I just, I think that this is wonderful. Um, then on the back, this is just amazing. So well done, Dollar Tree. Another whole section here. Three things I'm grateful for today. Uh, and again, space, 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 line, line, line. Oh, you have a vision board. This is great. Anyways, my daughter is 12. Her friends are around like 11 to 13. And I just, I, I really think that a nice little five minute gratitude journal can do wonders. Oh, I'm obsessed with these bags clearly because I keep buying them. Fabric gift bag. This one's a three piece and it has the little polka dots. And it's like a cream color with little white polka dots. And then the fabric gift bags. This was more, I think like a party slash Mother's Day uh, that they kind of came out with. And it's got a very iridescent. Now they had pink, they had blue, and they had this purple. And I was inclined, of course, towards her. skipping rope. My daughter just learned to skip rope, which I think is amazing. And she was really excited, but she actually had my skipping rope, which is a little more durable. But I thought if she wanted to bring a skipping rope to school, I always found that the material or the cloth, the rope ones, uh, jumped differently for me, especially with the wind. And I always was a really like hard plastic type jump rope, skipping rope that I gravitated towards. So when I saw this, I was like, what? I had to buy it, but then I went back because thinking, oh, maybe she'd like to bring some extras or spares to school. Hopefully they still have them like they used to when I was a kid in school. I'll have to ask her. She says that, that they haven't done skipping in class. She could bring, possibly bring some to share at school with some friends or just give them out to her friends, but I haven't found any more. If you, anyone sees them, uh, please let me know. Again, I found a whole bunch of the twisty tie ones for the spring summer line, but nothing in the plastic card one. I got dimensional stickers. I was lucky to find these. So I actually started collecting a bunch of St. Patrick's Day stuff because I wanted to make a really pretty pocket letter or like a memory decks card. And when I become obsessed with something, I need to have all the things before I can make the item that I want. So I started buying uh, St. Patrick's Day cards. This was back way in March, right? Uh, even maybe February. And now here we are in going into June, but it is what it is. And 
I just, I'm gonna put this in my little stash because they're just super cute rosettes and I I know that I will use them pen. I'll be honest, I purchased one already on my own and it's like all twisty and fun and blue and I paid like five bucks for it. So when I saw this, I had to have it, but it's pink and it has a little glass, that's all glass and then it has this little ink. They have blue, purple, I think green and pink. I had to purchase this because I immediately saw it as a wand. And if you know me, I've made wands before on the channel using the clear ornaments from Christmas time. And when I saw this one, I was like, oh my gosh, it already comes pre-made for me. And uh, the stem is perfect. It's nice and sturdy. It's so long, it's glittery. And this is like a little shaker heart. I don't know if you can see that. It has little um, sequin in it, but there are little stars with the little studs here. This is very, very beautiful. They had other varieties. I just gravitated toward this one and I'm hoping I make a really cute uh, shaker, another type of, can add ribbon and paper and all sorts of stuff and make it really fun shape how big my haul was. Okay, I got some rub-on transfers. This one here, a little guard, like the little flowers, this here and those, so pretty. And these are just simply rub on, so you can do some crafts with them on a piece of wood, or you can rub them onto a journal, whatever you need to rub them onto. I got Better Together sticker pack. I really love that they had the pride kind of stickers, and they have three sheets, and it looks like that. Super awesome. I also have bought this flexible stencil, and <laughs> don't ask me, because I'm so not a farm decorator but uh farmer's market i just saw being able to do some cute stuff on a piece of wood and then it's not like forever for me but maybe for um thanksgiving no not thanksgiving but yeah i guess like the fall if i do something with the farmer's market theme then i have those then i couldn't pass these up oh my goodness like honestly i've been so good with stickers and then suddenly just hit me i don't know if you remember this kind of reminded me of a diy that i'd actually made and i did a specific wood transfer using a piece of photocopier paper. I just printed an image off the, the internet and then I shared with you how to transfer. I feel like, oh my gosh, my image is almost identical to this. Crazy. So I don't think I ended up grab, oh, I did grab it. I don't know. Okay, so look at this. There's cute little tr transfers and you can cut them out. You can leave them like this and even just insert the pages the way they are. I love this like old newspaper vintage feel to it that I might even just put it as like sheets in my junk journal. I don't even know if I'll actually transfer them. I just love the cute little prints and the same with this one. And look, the little wood tray, isn't that similar to the Dollar Tree one? Well, I think they have all of these actually, to be honest. Yeah, they do. So they're clearly using stuff that they have silly me um yeah so anyways there's that and then oh and this one i bought because of beautiful letters so and these little that i would just use in my planner in my bullet journal most likely but some of the pages i actually even like tempted to just put into my junk journal i think just the way it is i've been looking for vellum um printed sheets at michael's and there's nothing so I'm gonna have to be making some I did do a DIY of vellum on just regular paper so I'm gonna turn some of my scrapbook paper into vellum uh, I'll play with that this weekend coming collections stamps they're roller stamps actually so there's that one here with the sentiments uh, happy place I love you lots hello sunshine let's fly away laugh, laugh more and delightful that's that one there and then they have of course uh, the sentiment and then the date right uh, no maybe not maybe not <laughs> this one here has the date this one does not how interesting so basically uh sorry this one just has the sentiment this one does have the date and it says don't forget currently this was rad favorite the best day epic moment not noteworthy and then they have stars and half circles or half moon and i actually really like that feature because i'm a, a note take uh list maker so i felt like that would suit me the most and then as you can see i don't know if you can see that but it has the rolling date it has all of the months 
May, June, July, and then the dates, and then the sentiment on the very end. Just purchase this because there's always somebody. And I also do a lot of work with a local um, kind of charity that helps like new beginnings or people that um, are struggling maybe with food, or like a food pantry type situation. So sometimes there's mamas who are, you know, moving from um, a bad situation or something like that, or they're just having their little ones. So I just assumed I will come, this baggie will come in handy because it was just too cute. It says, welcome little one. And uh, there's a mama elephant and a baby elephant. And I just love the little polka dots. The glitter on here is amazing. Very well, uh, well done bag. I don't know, does anyone else take a look at their gift bags and say, oh, I really love that one, but I have no reason for it. That's me usually, but this one I just, I had to buy it. Look at the little polka dots. It's on the craft paper. The back has the print as well. However, I love the little Ellie's on the front and they're dimensional. This cotton candy LA lip gloss and it's the form of a little uh, sucker, which I thought was so cute. And then I got myself some red nail polish. Now this nail polish is like a, a red red. It's different than the one I'm wearing. This one's more like a cherry red and mine is, I don't know what kind of red mine is. I also got this wood frame with tin board. So the, I think this would be magnetic and then the frame is wood, which is awesome. And I've done some DIYs in the past. Like I made that amazing uh, command board that was in my laundry room for some time until it kind of got like, it got uh, over the years, it started to kind of get ruined. So I took it down, but I loved it. And I used, I did something similar to that. Actually, I wish I had something similar to uh, to this at the time when I made it. Sketchbook. This one is 30 sheets. I love that it has a pocket in the front here so you can put your own custom page or like artwork. Beautiful. Um, actually, this is plastic. I love that it's blank pages, of course, for my own note taking or such, but it feels like really nice, good quality paper. Nice and thick. So you can, you know, draw, use markers, do all that stuff. And um, the pages are quite, yeah, they're quite vibrant. Not quite a 100% snow white. And then another one of these bubble mailers. I just love sending happy mail in a fun package. And this one is blue and holographic. I got also Candyland as a little backup. Sometimes I like to toss something in as part of a gift or with a gift card. All well, is this gorgeous blue. I'm obsessed with blue and white lately. Um, if you were outside with me at the beginning, you'll notice I had candles and my pillows have blue. So I think this will be like my little, like if I need to bring some stuff out to the patio, blue basket. I absolutely love, love this navy blue. Anyone else liking the blue and white this year? I bought so many things from home since I've been terrible um, for my outdoor sitting area and just, yeah, been having some fun. Anyways, don't forget to check out the link in my description down below for better help. You get 10% off any online therapy. I hope that you are all doing well. Take good care of yourselves. And until next time, everyone, I hope you enjoy the shop with me as they come and um, some more Dollar Tree, well, some more hauls and, and DIYs. Anyways, until next time, everyone, thank you so very much for watching. Bye for now.